What's going on everybody, the Island Race coming to you live with yet another video. So I just got finished watching Power. Man, like I'm lost for words right now, man. This is like a really good episode, a really good show. I've been trying to find it all day. I really want to see the previews for next week episode. Uh, I don't really do like reviews like in the past I did. You know, I don't really like those super long reviews of people, you know, telling exactly what happened. We all seen, like if you watch Power, you already seen what happened. So I'm not really into, you know, pretty much talking about the whole show and going scene for scene and giving you the script. You can pretty much go do that shit yourself. Um, but I could just tell you like my favorite parts and different things that I found interesting in the show and just give my thoughts on what's going to happen, what I think going to happen. Um, I already knew I had a discussion with, uh, someone I work with and I was just telling him about, he, he thought they were going to kill Dre. I told him you can't go off of the previews. Like he really like actually goes off of the previews and really believe that, you know, oh, he was going to kill Dre and all this. I was like, they're not going to kill Dre there. If you go watch my video, I said they're building Dre to be the next ghost, you know, and every show there's a transition point. Um, I don't know when it's, when that transition point is going to happen, but uh, we know that as far as like uh, when you see like the wire, you see uh, them go from Marlo. I mean, I'm sorry, they went from Avon Boxdale to Marlo Stanfield, and it was a transition. You know, it was growth, and it's a lot of people's like, oh, I'm not watching it. If Ghost gone or this person gone, come on now, like be serious. You know, if it's that interesting, the writers are great at, at what they do. So, you know, they could make you pretty much continue to watch the show because it's like they're putting great product out there but anyway getting into the show um we see that ghost and tyreek together um tyreek is just too far gone bro and and a lot of people don't like tyreek's character but i like tyreek's character you know he reminds me of like um michael from the wire you know michael was a good kid quiet you know really didn't you know wasn't who he was at towards till towards the end of the season. I like the way they're building Tyreek's character. I hope Tyreek's character doesn't go anywhere. I don't believe it's gonna go anywhere. But if it does, you know, it would be a disappointment to me because I like the way he, I like his attitude. You know, Michael was uh he started to become careless and he started to morph into uh he was starting to become a product of his environment, you know. He was so much he was just raised into all of these things and once you corrupt it and you're, you're brought into that lifestyle, you start to, you know, indulge in things that goes on in, in your neighborhood and different things. So that's what happened with um, with Michael from The Wire. And it's, it's kind of like the same story, whereas you're seeing Michael corrupted by Snoop, you know, Chris and Snoop. And he was coming up under their wing. And it's kind of the same thing with, you know, Tyreek. He's coming up under Kanan's wing. Uh, you know, Ghost is pretty much, you know, under Simon Stern now. And he's trying to control Tyreek. But Tyreek don't want to be lied to. And y'all got to, you know, understand where he's coming from. Uh, as far as, like, Tasha, you know, um, she need to get a control of her damn kids. Like, everybody just cursing her out. You got Raina cursing her out, just talking to her. Like, any kind of way, cursing that. If I cursed that my mother, God damn, bro. Like, <laughs> if I cursed that my mom, like, man, bro, I'm getting my ass whooped. Like, you know, I I don't know. Maybe they raised different. They got that relationship. You know, Tasha is young, so, you know, maybe they got that relationship. I've seen, you know, kids curse around their parents. You know, it's just a respect thing. And, you know, we were always brought up to just have respect and be, you know, we were kind of well-mannered. But, however, um... You know, she was just talking to Raina about the whole situation with her and, um, you know, about Kanan and all this other stuff and telling her to watch out for Tyreek. Um, and and Raina, Raina they're, they're doing good at uh, building Raina's character. Uh, from what I hear, she won't be around for long. I don't know how true that is. Uh, but anyway, um, we seen Tasha cheating with... This is like, I'm just all over the place, but Tasha was cheating with... Um, what's the guy named? Silva, the the lawyer, and um, y'all y'all seen my video? I'm not sure if you seen my video, but go watch my video. Uh, you know with Tasha, 
versus Angela, why black women uh, don't like Angela, why they hate the character uh, Angela Valdez and even hate her in real life. Um, but, you know, uh, I, I wasn't even to tell you the truth. Tasha looks sexy as hell on this. She looks sexy as hell, bruh. Like, I was like, God damn, bruh. Like, Tasha was sexy, bruh. And it, just the whole, like, the outfit that she had on, the not the outfit, but the, like the bra and the panties, like the whole set. I was like, damn, bro, she looked good as shit. The way the light was hitting, I was like, God damn, bro. Like, anyway, bro. So moving forward, so we seen, um, you know, pretty much Tasha do good with the interview, talking about ghosts and saving their marriage, and you know all this other stuff. And that girl, I think Ghost gonna end up having sex with that lady who, uh, the interviewer, Ghost gonna end up. Getting the draws off her. And one thing I will say. Y'all criticize ghosts. But. You know. It's funny because. She gave those draws up pretty easy bruh. Like. She gave those draws up kind of easy to that nigga Silver bruh. Not insinuating anything. But I'm just saying. So. Tommy. Goes meet with. Um, you know. The dudes with the seven. Something tattoo, 718 tattoo, whatever it is. And, you know, Dre, I told him they were going to kill Dre. Uh, Dre is pretty much talk his way out of everything. Um, and, you know, the guy was Tommy's dad. Like everybody already knew. Um, and also, I, I don't want to give nothing away, but I already pretty much know what's going to happen with the situation with Tommy. Uh, and his dad already know like the whole storyline behind it and what Tommy's going to, the information that Tommy's going to find out. Um, but you know, it's a great show, man. Like I said, like a lot of the people are upset because they felt like the show was being rushed. But the thing is, you know, what's really happening is the show is just so good and it's getting towards the end and people are upset. It's not, it's not being rushed. It's just, uh, Dre did a, a interview, um, before the season even started. And he was just like, every episode is going to seem like a season finale. And that's what has happened since the beginning. Every show has, every episode has been like a season finale. It's been a great series. The writers have done a phenomenal job. A girl told me I was dramatic when I was talking about, you know, how great the writers have done. But, I mean, it's the second best show in the world up against a Game of Thrones, uh, according to the ratings. So, is it, is it Game of Thrones? Whatever that whatever that goddamn show is. I forgot. I think that's the, the, the show. But, you know, it's one of the best shows, you know, according to rating. So, you know, the writers have done a phenomenal job, man. And they're doing a great job of keeping people interested in this showing because people, it's getting closer to the end and people are like, man, it's, it's about to be over. And, and it's been so great that they want more. And that goes to show you that the writers are doing a good job. So shout out to Courtney Kim and all the other writers. The camera angles is, is amazing as well. Like, people don't understand, like, you know, it's all about angles. If you're not in, like, to, to film and stuff like that, you wouldn't understand. But, you know, they do a great job, man. And, uh, you know, pretty much it was a great show, man. I give this show, like, an A+, plus, bro. Like, they did a really a great job. This is this is going down. This probably be the best season next to season two. I think season two reached its, its, uh, when it, its like, heights. You know, it reached a new level for the show. You know, and now to see where it's becoming, it's like one of the best episodes I've seen, man. And um, uh, I forgot to talk about Angela. They're they're closing in on who was the person who you know set up um, Greg, and you know they they're getting close to finding the mole. But somebody's going to die before then. I think uh, Agent Donovan is going to die next. Um, but we'll see. Um, I think that uh, Dre is going to end up killing Kanan. And that's what's going to make, that's what's going to earn the trust of, you know, Ghost and, you know, Tommy. And it's going to be able to, because a lot of these characters are going to die off and they need more space and more time. But I think I've been going too long with this video. I usually, I, I haven't been doing these videos from my phone in a long time. So hopefully you guys can hear me. And, um... Because I've been using a computer, but I don't have Wi-Fi. So hopefully y'all can just still support and subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope hopefully I cover everything uh, with this. This I said I wasn't going to give you the play-by-play, -play, but like I said, you can go watch it for your goddamn self. And um, 
Yeah, because I'm pretty sure if you're watching it now, you've already seen it and you don't want to see a review. Of course, you don't want to see a review and you haven't seen the show yet because then I'll be telling you everything, like, clearly, my nigga. But anyway, bro, make sure y'all get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe, man. Like, Tasha, I, I'm not even mad at you. Like, I ain't even mad at you, girl. You did your thing. You know, I criticized Tasha in the past, uh, you know, so it is what it is, you know. But anyway, make sure y'all get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe. I'm out.